So a nice simple challenge to end the year on. We have all the dates for 2021 that we want to get to. And we need to basically work out what holiday days there will be for the US and for Australia too. So to get from the first day and the last day of 2021, we need to use the generate rows tool to get every single date. And we have 365 days there, so we know we're on the right track. We to set up this tool, then we do the initialize the expression with the begin date. We add a day to that begin date until we reach the end date. We then want to work out what day of the week that date is by using the date time format formula. And um, the percentage A here corresponds to the day of the week. And you can find all of those different date time formats by literally just Googling date time format auto. And you get all the nice percentage and the letter combinations to get different parts of the date back and forth. So that's a nice neat little trick for you. Um, and we're only interested in our working days. So we want to get rid of Saturday and Sunday. I chose that to filter anything that doesn't start with an S basically because we know our weekend days are both starting with an S. So then comes bringing in the US holidays. So we're joining our holiday date to the business date. Oh sorry to the begin date as it starts off. And then we're just unioning to make sure we keep everything coming from the left. And that will be elf one. And we just need to duplicate that for elf two as well. We do a similar thing for the Australian holidays too. And then just do a bit of renaming, do a bit of column selecting so that we have all of those the same way as the output suggested. And just for the little bonus question as well, we just group by uh, the business days in the US and the Australian holidays. And we see that these are the number of working days for the US and for Australia. So nice and simple for that week. So I hope that was useful.